For the second time this week, a plane filled with passengers had to make an emergency landing at the Orlando Sanford Airport. They did show us the crash positions. Tonight, passengers described the tense moments after the pilot told them they needed to be ready. Fortunately, the pilot was able to land safely and no one was hurt. We told you about this story as it was breaking tonight at 6.30. Skywitness 9 HD flew over Orlando Sanford International Airport shortly after the Allegiant flight touched down. Channel 9's Mark Boyle joins us live now from the airport. And Mark, some pretty scary moments for these people, but Allegiant is paying to put them up in a hotel tonight. A very scary moment, Marty. And yes, those folks who don't live in central Florida are staying in area hotels. Allegiant says the plane that left this airport had a maintenance problem with its hydraulic system, and that system controls the flaps on the wings. This happened en route to Kentucky. Agnes Williams, along with 135 others on board this Allegiant flight to Lexington, Kentucky, didn't get far out of Orlando Sanford International Airport tonight because of what airline officials are calling an in-flight emergency. A few minutes after takeoff, Brian Gilson knew something was wrong. When the plane was making turns after takeoff, you could tell it was turning differently. A few minutes later, the pilot told the passengers on flight 662 he was going to spend more than an hour burning fuel over Daytona Beach before turning back. We were told that the hydraulics had went out and that we were prepared for emergency landing. The fuel capacity on this MD-80 series aircraft is more than 38,000 pounds. They spent the, oh, about 30 minutes, 45 minutes telling us how to prepare for a fast landing. At first, the pilot was going to land at OIA because it has longer runways, but he managed to temporarily fix the hydraulic system that controls the flaps on the wings and landed at Orlando Sanford International. It is flaps down, so he landed here, pretty normal landing. Uh, so we, we didn't have to do anything, thank goodness. Once the plane was on the ground, all of the passengers walked into the ticketing area and were rebooked on another flight to Lexington tomorrow morning. Oh, yes, it was definitely scary. We were kissed by an angel. <laughs> and the passengers stranded here will leave at 8 o'clock in the morning. For now, reporting live Orlando Sanford International Airport, I'm Mark Boyle, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.